In this presentation, we're going to explain why perseverance is the key to success. To be more specific, it is one of the keys, and we think that without it, it may be difficult to get through the amount of challenges and adversity that we face when we set ourselves to achieving the goals we make for ourselves. There's no such thing as an easy ride when it comes to success. You're going to hit potholes, roadblocks, and every obstacle great and small. Anyone who says they have succeeded without failure is obviously lying to you. So with that said, let's get right to the heart of this presentation. The first point that we'll bring up is perseverance is key because it helps you overcome challenges. As we've mentioned before, you're going to face a lot of them before you finally achieve your goal. One quote from Thomas Edison was, I haven't failed 10,000 times. I have successfully found 10,000 ways that will not work. When we take a look at the wording of it, he sees the good in the setbacks. He was successful in finding something. He didn't say that he failed, per se. So when you see the good amongst the bad, this will help you overcome challenges a lot easier. You know that something isn't going to work. Now you'll need to test out another alternative. No matter how many times your attempts have come up empty, it's important to not give up. The next one will be better than the last. After all, Edison was known for inventing the incandescent lamp, and we know for a fact that he didn't get it right on the first try. Next, let's take a look at continuous improvement. It's easy to persevere knowing that you can improve over and over again. You need to accept the fact that nothing will ever be perfect. There shouldn't be a bar that is set too high. Don't shoot for perfect. Shoot for satisfactory. I know there are some perfectionists out there foaming up at the mouth and saying some not-so-kind words, but the truth is trying to be a perfectionist will frustrate you and you look a bit of peace in your mind. It's important to just get the job done without expecting a perfect outcome. You want it to be good enough to where you're happy by your standard. If there are some areas that need improvement, identify them and find ways to build on them. You can work on the weak points and strengthen them over time. That's the beauty of continuous improvement. Just because something is good doesn't mean that you can't make any more improvements over time. There's always room for improvement no matter how good something is. Ever notice how Windows is updating all the time? Well, the improvements may be small ones, but it's a good example of how continuous it is in order to make it better for their users. Finally, it's important to build resilience. This may be one of the most important byproducts of perseverance. You know that there will be rough roads ahead and you'll be prepared to face them head on. It's always a good idea to be ready to ride them and brace for the potholes. You might be able to see what's ahead in terms of obstacles that stand in the way. You can prepare ahead of time to go through them or when you encounter them. Identify it and find ways to overcome the obstacles and plow ahead. That'll be it for this presentation. We hope you got quite a bit of excellent stuff out of this. Thanks for checking this out, and we'll see you soon. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.